Hey, Washita Parish, I've got seven beach reads for you. If you're making a trip down to the beach or maybe you're just staying here in Washita Parish with the air conditioning turned on way high, I've got some really fun books for you to relax and just enjoy the summer. First, I have Float Plan by Trish Dollar. Float Plan is about this woman named Anna. She's wrecked by the grief of the sudden loss of her fiance. Um, but then all of a sudden she gets a reminder that, oh yeah, we were supposed to take this sailing trip together. And she's like, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways, even though I thought I'd be doing it with my fiance, I'm gonna be doing this on my own. So she goes out on this sailboat uh, to enjoy the trip, but then she realizes she can't sail all by herself. This is something that she needs another person to help her out with. So she hires a professional sailor named Keen to take the trip with her. Anna learns a bit about Keen and herself and she finds out that sometimes even though life doesn't go as planned there's still fun times ahead. Next I have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. We Were Liars takes place on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts and it's about a group of four friends and they call themselves The Liars. And there's a reason they call themselves the liars. They lie about everything. They lie to each other, they lie to other people, and there's a great mystery secret going on. Um, and you've got to figure out what it is. And I don't want to say too much because I feel like I'm going to ruin everything if I say the tiniest thing. But I'm going to let you know this is one of the best books that you'll read. You'll read it in like one or two sittings because you won't be able to put it down. Another beach read, Island Affair by Priscilla Oliveris. Island Affair is about Sarah who goes on a family vacation and her siblings are so annoying because they're so successful with their love lives and their careers and Sarah's is not going very well. She's a social media influencer but she's recovering from an eating disorder and her fiance doesn't even show up on the family vacation and um, she's really just trying to figure out her own life but she still wants to impress her siblings so she may hire a fake boyfriend named Luis. Sarah and Luis's relationship turns out to be a bit more realistic than they originally thought it to be. But when the vacation is over, they are forced to make a choice. Do they go their separate ways because this was a prearranged uh, fake relationship or do they test out the waters and see if this thing can work for real? The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. Carolina is a wedding planner and she plans the best weddings. But then when it comes time for her own wedding, she's left at the altar. She learns how to get her life back together. It's fine, everything's going okay, until one day she is forced to work with the ex-best man who happens to be her ex-fiance's brother. They have to make a presentation together, they have to work together, and they also have to tolerate each other and not fall in love. <laughs> This one has been on my to-be-read list since I first heard about it. It's called Shipped by Angie Hockman. Henley and Graham both work for the same awesome cruise line. They love their jobs and they are both going after the same promotion within the cruise line. Their boss tells them, hey, go on this cruise together. Get me a proposal on how we can better our cruise line. Best proposal wins the promotion. There they are on the cruise together, hating each other, but spending all kinds of romantic time together because they're trying to create the best proposal ever to get more more people to take the cruises on this cruise line. The queen of beach reads is back, Mary Kay Andrews, Hello Summer. Hello Summer is about this big time city reporter named Conley until her job goes up in smokes and she has to go back home to her little town on the beach and work for her sister at the small town newspaper writing the advice column, Hello Summer. She doesn't like it one bit until one day she witnesses the death of a congressman and she has to figure out who did it, how did he die, why did he die, who killed him. But once she starts digging into the congressman's past, she realizes some things are shady and secretive for a reason and maybe things are starting to get a little too dangerous. If you like mysteries, you're going to love Hello Summer. Finally, I have for you Girls of Summer by Nancy Thayer. 
Girls of Summer is about Lisa, who is a middle-aged woman who was divorced decades ago. She's over it. She's living her own life. She is totally fine. She successfully raised two beautiful children into adulthood. Um, but, you know, her house could use some repairs. So she hires a handyman to come and help her out around the house. And, you know, a romance blossoms. Her kids are not about it. Her kids are like, absolutely not, Mom. This guy is not right for you. Then her children end up having romances of their own. Um, so you get to find out a bit about that as well. While all of this is going on, there's a storm brewing out in the ocean. And you have to wonder, will this storm destroy the lives that they've created? <laughs> it's a great summer book. It's a great beach read. So check out Girls of Summer by Nancy Thayer. All of these books are available to check out with your Washita Parish Public Library card. Don't forget to log your pages for the Summer Reading Challenge if you check out any of these books. You can win some amazing prizes and be entered to win the grand prize, which is a tablet provided by the friends of the Washita Public Library. We're so thankful for that. Once you get that tablet, then you can read all the ebooks anywhere you go. If you go to the beach, you can download 10 ebooks because you can't fit them all into your luggage. Happy reading, everybody.